Halloween night, that's what I'm talking about. So, what'd you make your jack-o'-lantern into? It's a freaking pumpkin with my beautiful little face on it. Wow, that's sexy. I know. Well, I made a Rebecca pumpkin. I'm such a cutie. Great idea, Tyrese. You use your ugly girlfriend to win the scariest Jack O' Lantern contest. <gasps> Offended. Boys, you should be getting your costumes on. My grown-up Halloween party is starting soon, and you guys have to get to your grandmother's. What's with that, yo? Who spends Halloween night at the grandma's house? Shh. Remember, as long as Granny Panties gets her dark chocolate in her prescription medication, we'll be fine to get all the candy we want by 9.30. Oh, bosom, that's right. Whatever. Go get that groovy stuff going at your Halloween party, Babs. Thanks, boys. Now go get your costumes done, and I'll meet you outside. We'll hit a few houses on the way there. <laughs> oh my god, that scared me so bad, man. Jeez. Oh, nice, Mr. Ty. We both came as Golden Girls. I'm Dorothy. Who are you? No, I'm not a Golden Girl! This knife should give you a clue of who I am. Yeah, you're Sophia. I know it. Roar! My makeup! I spit on Broad's makeup. Here we are, boys. I hope you have fun with your granny panties. You're not coming in? Oh, I got a party I gotta get to, and I do not need all of that tonight. Peace and happy halloween -er. I say we ditch and go see the new Hugh Grant horror slash romantic dramatic comedy. It's playing at the theater that serves fry and onion burritos. Come on, Mr. Ty. At least the spooky house fits with the mood. Plus, how bad could Halloween here be? Fine, but I'm going through all of her stuff, and I'm taking what I want! Okay, you should step inside. Why me? Because you're in charge, and uh, I'm just hanging out. I, I can't see anything. Mr. Ty, where are you? Over here. Ah! Hey, I found the light switch. Cousin Jenny? What are you doing here? Well, I... Caramel apple to shut you up. You talk too much. Panties? What is she doing here? Oh, God. That's what I want to know. Why does everyone feel like they have the right to ruin my favorite holiday by pawning their hideous little freak children off on me? <laughs> Whoa. Actually, I had plans. You asked me to come over and change the channel on the TV. Oh, how dare you question my lifestyle? You don't know me. You don't know how I live. <laughs> so, uh, what are we going to do tonight? It's Halloween. Well, I thought about about what kids like to do on Halloween. And since kids today are so screwed up, I figured we could all just bring this witch head to life. <laughs> wow, Tyrese. I've never heard that pitch come out of a male before. Yeah, you keep squealing. Are your parts okay? All right, for this to work, we have to be completely serious. So no fiddle farting. You feel me, dog? Oh, sure. Yeah! Groovy, now take my hand. No! My hand is not going to be touching yours. <laughs> no, it stinks! Everyone bow your heads. Here tonight on All Hallows Eve, since I'm stuck home with company who just will not leave. We seek spooky fun so that I don't feel strife. Play the Resurrector and bring this witch head to life. Come on! I wanted to bring a witch head back to life. Yeah! Ah! Hey, can you give us this to the time? Ah! No! Hold the fries, is that Granny Pennies? Beatrice, you old tramp, I told you I'd resurrect your head as soon as it was Halloween. Oh, you're a true friend, Granny Pennies. Shut up, it's Halloween. Now throw up some slime for these children's entertainment. You got it, girl. This doesn't taste like candy. It tastes like Papa's toenails. Uh -huh. 